Okay, I just want to uh, point out something before I put this transmission back together. Um, I know people are uh, locking these things up, locking these diffs up by throwing a set of extra spider gears in there. And while I am a fan of the uh, locking diff, <coughs> or a fully locked diff, there are times when it's a real pain in the butt. So, uh, what I do is I put in thrust washers on these side gears. Um, I believe they come without any, or they come with a real thin one that's, you know, kind of covers all the bases. But if you get in your washers, or you can buy real shims, and, uh, find something that gets you that's just thick enough so you can just barely get it back together so all these gears run snug and uh, that actually gives you a pretty good posi effect um, I get good straight line both wheels go and uh, and I can still go have fun out in the woods and yes again a lot of differential can be fun in the woods but it can also be a real pain in the butt when you're trying to make tight turns and stuff and this is, I think this is a great compromise. Works great. And here's your most critical improvement here. The input gear. Of course it's on, you know, where your pulley comes in. And, uh, this one, what you can do is shim it down. And, you know, put shims between the gear and the case. And you're after getting the full engagement in these teeth. And it's basically a trial and error thing to where you want the minimum amount of play when you wiggle your pulley on top you want a tiny bit of play but you don't want it all the way no play so you want to get that play down to as little as possible so you get that full gear engagement get those teeth all the way in those gears much less likely to break 